Hi people, it's me, Anya, my pronouns are she and her, and welcome back to my channel for my July TBR, also known as the fourth video that I'm filming today, because I wanted to give my subscribers videos to watch during the entire duration of my vacation, in the rare case that I don't film while I'm on vacation, if that makes any sense. So anyway, without any further ado, the first book on this list is called My Week With Him. This story comes out July 11th, if I'm not mistaken, and it's a YA contemporary following a young main character who gets kicked out of her home, but her best friend begs her to stay with him for the rest of spring break. This story sounds like it's going to be so good and so awesome, and I completely trust this author so much because they previously wrote Excuse Me While I Ugly Cry, which I really, really enjoyed, and Confessions of an Alleged Good Girl, which I again really, really enjoyed more than her debut. So I have really high expectations for this book. It sounds like it's going to be so good and so amazing. I typically enjoy friends to lovers, but not best friends to lovers. But I trust this author so much that I know that she can make me fall in love with a romantic trope that I don't typically historically love, if that makes any sense. But anyway, I'm so excited to read this book and it's going to be so good. So keep your eyes peeled for July 11th. The next book on this list is called Give Me a Sign. This story also comes out July 11th and it's a YA contemporary following a young deaf main character who becomes a camp counselor at a camp for the deaf and the blind. I'm so excited to read this book. First of all, if you didn't know, July is Disability Pride Month and I'm so excited to celebrate as a disabled person myself and just read more from disabled authors about disabled characters. You know what I mean? Like, I'm so excited to read this book, not just for the representation, but also the entire story. Sounds like it's going to be so good and absolutely so happy and just so well done. Like, it sounds like it's going to be so good. It's marketed as like Jenny Han meets Coda, which sounds so intriguing. Although I haven't seen Coda yet. So anyway, the point is I'm so excited to read this book. It sounds like it's going to be so awesome. I'm excited to read a good story about like death, disabled pride, young love, all those fun, happy things that disabled people absolutely deserve. So with that said, I'm so excited to read this book. And it comes out again, like I said, July 11th. The next book on this list is called I'd Rather Burn Than Bloom and it also comes out July 11th and it's a YA contemporary following a young Filipino American main character who tries to figure out who she is after her mom dies. This story sounds like it's going to be so good and so emotional and so sad and I love stories that focus on grief for some reason. I'm not sure exactly why since I've never grieved anyone actually but I'm so excited to read this book and also I don't think I've read a book about a Filipino main character in a very long time. I could be completely wrong about that because sometimes I just read these like mid mediocre three star books and then I don't talk about them on booktube because I don't typically enjoy talking about books that I disliked. So I could be completely incorrect in that statement. But anyway, I'm so excited to read this book because it sounds like it's going to be so amazing and so lyrical and so pretty. So I really, really hope that it absolutely is. And I'm excited to also figure out what in the world the title means. So anyway, with that said, I'm so excited to read this book. And like I said, it comes out July 11th and I'm really, really looking forward to it. The next book on this list is called The Third Daughter. This book comes out not on July 11th, but on July 18th. And it's a YA sapphic fantasy. And it's about legacy, sisterhood, and betrayal. And I have no idea what that means, but I'm so excited to dive into this story because this author previously wrote Sweet and Bitter Magic, which I really, really enjoyed, as well as Sophie and the Bone Song, which I didn't completely love as much as Sweet and Bitter Magic, but I still liked. So anyway, with that said, I have really high expectations for this book. It sounds like it's going to be so good and so amazing. I just love reading like sapphic YA fantasies literally so much. Her previous like slow burn sapphic romances were so good and so well paced. So I'm so excited to dive into this story. I'm so excited to find out like what the synopsis means to be introduced to these characters 
and their like romantic dynamics and just everything about it you know what i mean anyway with that said i'm so excited to read this book because it sounds like it's going to be so amazing and so well done so with that said like i said earlier this book comes out july 18th and i'm really, really looking forward to it the last book on this list, and hopefully not the least, is called Bonesmith. This story comes out July 25th, and it's a YA fantasy following a young, disgraced, ghost-fighting warrior who must venture into a haunted wasteland to rescue a kidnapped prince. I have no idea what that means at all, but I'm so excited to read this book because the author previously wrote the Crown of Feathers Fantasy YA Trilogy, which I absolutely really, really enjoyed. So naturally, I was so excited when she announced her next book, especially with such an intriguing synopsis like that. Like this book sounds like it's going to be so good and so amazing, and maybe it'll help me fall back in love with YA fantasy since recently I've been saying that contemporary is my most read genre lately and fantasy just seems like so much of the same story over and over and over again but I trust this author so much because her previous books were so unique and so unbelievably like creative and innovative if that makes any sense so basically I have really, really high expectations for this book I really, really hope that it's so amazing and so well done so anyway like I said earlier this book comes out July 25th and I'm absolutely so excited for it so in conclusion I know that this is one of the shortest monthly TBLs that I've ever done and that's because July historically is not a month where I read a lot however I did think that about June 2 and June absolutely exceeded my expectations so that might happen this month too but anyway without any further ado if you enjoyed this video please don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs up comment down below the cactus emoji if you made it all the way to the end of the video thanks for watching subscribe to my channel if you're new and i'll see you in my next video bye